All right, I just wanted to make this quick video. This battery I'm using, I I found this battery. Uh, you can't see it right now, but I, I actually found the battery in an alley, and it's 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 at a 12.72. It's it's still at the same voltage that I bought it. It's, just, it's or not bought it, but found it. It's, it still has the same voltage. Uh, it lost a slight amount, but anyways, what I wanted to show in this was, see this magnet? Okay, if I put it back behind this motor coil, okay, I can get an increase of rotor speed. Um, and if I get an increase of rotor speed, then of course my generator coil is going to generate more power. So just... I didn't make this clear in my last video, so uh, I'm going to do that right now. But uh, this generator coil, okay, here's the AC side, and there's the other side of the coil. i got to go onto the AC side of this full-wave bridge rectifier to, to convert it to DC. And then this is the negative side of the DC. It goes to the battery. And then uh, the positive, I got running through the meter. So I can see my output current from the generator coil. And then it goes back to the positive of the battery. Okay, so I got this thing running. I'm going to put the magnet behind the... Uh, See if you can see that or not. Back behind the uh, the motor coil. If I can find my magnet. And it's over here. Okay, so here I go. I gotta find the right. The right polarity. I think that's it. There. Now I don't know if you can hear that or not. The rotor is speeding up. Now the collapsing field goes down. I, I'm not sure why exactly. I guess because it's a type of radiant. You know, it's it's the collapsing field is a high voltage spike. So if the voltage goes up in that, then then of course the current's going to go down. So that's probably why I'm seeing such a low current on the uh, collapsing field. I do not have the generator coil connected yet. I'm speeding it up first. I want to do that right quick just to get an idea um, of what the uh, what it's generating. So I'm doing that right now. Oh, about 39 milliamps. There's a little bit of drag. I would like to address that issue too. There is a lot of Lenz's Law drag on this rotor which of course occurs from pulling current off the generator coil you know it it creates uh, its own magnetic field that opposes the rotor magnetic fields and, and loads down the rotor for those of you that, that don't really know that but here I've sped the rotor up okay now, I want you guys to see this. I'm going to uh, take the magnet off and then connect the generator coil back to the battery. And uh, I want you guys to, to watch the input and the output current. This is the input current coming from the battery. And this is the output current going back into the battery. The voltages are the same. <clears throat> Okay, here we go. I'm taking the magnet off. Now I'm connecting the output. 14 milliamps going in, 36 milliamps going out. And it stays like that for quite a while. At uh, over unity. The over unity is produced from the mechanical energy converting to the 
electrical energy from the generator coil. There, now it's going under Unity. I'm just going to disconnect it. <coughs> so you see, I'm still charging the battery. It's running off nothing right now. It's drawing no current at all. I'm simply just uh, charging the battery from the momentum gained in the rotor. Converting the mechanical energy from the rotor into the uh, generator coil. And this is probably why my battery that I bound laying in an alley is like still like at 12.72 volts. I'd show you that right now, but I don't want to like <clears throat> mess with things right now. So, yeah, about 2 milliamps going back into the uh, battery. And it's almost done. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show. So uh, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next video. Okay. I would like to address the issue of the current going up when I place this magnet back behind the motor coil. Now, I get a good rotor speed up. Okay, but the input current goes up. And that's not good. And it's an issue that I'm trying to uh, figure out because of what I've seen in the past. In the past, I've had a device similar to this one where, you know, the thing ran. And when I put a magnet back behind the motor coil, the thing sped up like crazy but the input current the power it took to run it or the current going into it was cut in half and so I've seen this before with the rotor speeding up and the current being cut in half for some reason I, I don't know exactly what's going on I don't know, I think it might be the ferrite cores I have here. I got three rods stuck in there on each one. One of these is actually broken half inside. But anyways, I don't know if that had anything to do with it or not. Uh, when, I, when I seen it before, the current draw getting cut in half from the magnet back behind the motor coil, I was using... Um, I was using uh, copper plated welding rods so I don't know if that's the difference or not so I went ahead and I ordered some more uh, so I could do a comparison test between those and these and try to uh, replicate the effect I have already seen before with the magnet behind the mag the motor coil and the rotor speeding up um, and the current draw being cut in half. So, I just wanted to explain that a little bit further. Alright, that's all I need to say on that. See you on the next video.